Hey guys, let's show you how I balance the three blade props. So I have a magnetic balancer here, and um, this is the rod that it came with. I don't use that. I use a uh, finger balancer. You can get these from like uh, Great Plains, a high model, it's a couple bucks. So before I put my prop on the in the cones there, I uh, take any flashing off that might be there. Make sure the cone is going to sit flush in there. Now she's uh, just, you know, snug. Now, if you notice my uh, prop balancer here, one side is suspended. And I do that because it spins a lot freer than having the two magnets touching the uh, metal rod. There's uh, too much resistance and you lose some sensitivity. So right now this thing is really, really sensitive. So the first thing you want to observe when you're doing this is how much it's, how quickly it's going to the heavy side. That kind of gives you an idea of how much tape you would use. Uh, the more you do it, the more you'll be able to recognize how much tape you need. Now for tape, I use uh, hockey tape, or this is otherwise known as hatch tape for an RC boat. You can get it from Offshore Electrics or your local sports store. And I use aluminum foil tape with the paper backing for the heavier pieces. I think this is a little heavier than that. So now we have the heavy blade <clears throat> don't put your uh, tape up here because you don't want to put the scissors next to your magnet to cut the tape Because it, when you least expect it your scissors are going to go to the magnet So right now this prop has got one this blades heavy So these two blades need the weight This blade needs more weight than this blade because it's a little bit higher So I'm going to guesstimate here by the rate it was spinning and this is probably the first time I'm doing nine inch props here. So it is a guess. And this is about as exciting as watching grass grow. So the pieces I put on were too big. So instead of trying to peel the whole piece off, I gently scribe the tape with a nice sharp scalpel, exacto knife, whatever you want to use. Take some of that weight off. Try not to cut the uh, prop itself. A little scratch ain't going to hurt it. That's moving so slow right now that that would actually work because the uh, <clears throat> the amount is so minuscule once it gets on the motor it's you're not even going to see it there's always never going to be perfect the way this sits in the cones is going to be different than the way it sits on the motors so but if you want it to be perfect since it's got a little tape on it it's probably a little heavy The blade goes down on the bottom there and it's got tape on it. You're going to be taking tape off. <clears throat> Tweezers are missing. Sometimes you don't want to push the tape on so hard so you can peel it off a little easier. That's really close. That 
that's pretty much good. And there you have it. How to balance a three blade prop. The cool thing is you don't have to balance the hub because balancing hubs is tricky. You gotta put a lot of weight on the hub. But a three blade, you can just do it like this. All right guys, later.